How do you find your authentic voice? What does that even mean, right? I'm going to ask you this week to explore what authenticity means to you. Because you may have your own sense of it. You're going to certainly have your own feeling of it. And you'll know it for yourself when you're being authentic and when you're not. So how do you find that? Sounds hard, right? Well, like me, if you can speak, you have a voice. So the way to find the authenticity in your voice is to, as best you can, be authentic, be real, and use your voice. And that's how you learn what it sounds like. If that sounds obvious, good. You're on to it. You will feel it when you're being authentic. You'll know what that feels like to you. It will feel something like open, expansive, curious. That will feel authentic. When you are closed, tight, constricted, stressed, that's probably not going to feel very authentic. So you can certainly notice the difference between those two. We really just have those two states. Regardless of what emotions we, we may be having in those, it will be open, expansive, relaxed, or tight, closed, constricted. A quick note on that, you do not need to feel authentic or even open and relaxed in order to speak, write, or create. I'm going to encourage you to do it anyway, because if you notice that you're not feeling that, you're now onto it, and you have an opportunity to get a little more present. And doing it, you have to do this stuff in order to have the shifts that you want in order to get the most out of this experience and in order to really transform your relationship with sharing so that it's joyful, so that you can do it fearlessly, so that you actually enjoy sharing what you love and inviting people to join you in it. 